sides over here. Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Parish. Our celebrant today is Father Mark, assisted by Deacon John. And Merry Christmas to all. God's love and fidelity are fulfilled through Jesus. Let us celebrate this Thanksgiving and joy. Please stand and join in our opening hymn, number 99, O Come All Ye Faithful, number 99. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh in the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord
pray. O oh God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our Judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, the Lord proclaims to the ends of the earth, say to daughter Zion, your savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called frequented, a city that is not forsaken. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, when the kindness and generous love of God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
is born for us, Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all of these things in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Father. As we listen to the, the story of the shepherds going to meet Jesus tonight, I'd like you to just kind of put yourself in the place of a shepherd tonight. Just imagine yourself as one of those shepherds who was called by an angel to go and visit the child Jesus. And, and, and we know that they must have dropped everything that they were doing in order to do this. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that shepherds are very busy people. They have to watch after entire flocks. It, it's... Uh, it's something that just is part of their lives. And, and yet this moment, this singular moment was so important that they dropped what they were doing and they went to meet Jesus. And I like the symbolism of the fact that, that shepherds were called by angels to go and visit Jesus because shepherds would have been pretty common folk. They would have been pretty common like you and me. They weren't, uh, and we do have three kings. They're, they're kind of on their way. They haven't gotten there yet. But I, I have to imagine that these three guys right here, for us, is pretty hard to relate to. <laughs> pretty, pretty hard to relate to one of these three kings. And, and yet, they're marvelous people who, who, who go by the light of a star to Jesus. But... I tell you who I can relate to. I can relate to a shepherd. I can relate to somebody who, uh, is, who, who just day in, day out, has the work that God sets before them at their hands, and they do that. And isn't that probably how most of us live our lives? God gives us work that we do, whether it's work that we have in our career or our professional field or in our family or in our schools, or our studies, or whatever that we're doing, at the end of the day, we are very much like those shepherds. And so it shouldn't be a surprise that although Jesus does share the title of king along with these three guys, He also shares the name of shepherd with you and I. In fact, he refers to himself. He, you don't really see him refer to himself so often as a, as a king, but what you do see him refer to himself as is the good shepherd. The good shepherd. That's, that is the Jesus that I can relate to. The, 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 the Jesus that, that sees the work that, that God, had, uh, that his Father has given to him his work of going around and making disciples of all nations, of healing people, of bringing God's message of love to the poor, to the brokenhearted. That's a Jesus I can relate to. Because these are things that you and I can do. 
These are things that, that, that not just a Savior can do, but that you and I can do. We can all bring the message of God's love to the people around us. All of us can, can, can make that happen. All of us not only can be shepherds, all of us can be good shepherds. All of us can take the gifts that God gives to us throughout our lives. And so what happens? The shepherds, they all arrive. We arrive with them. Remember, we're, we're one of them. We arrive with them and we get this wonderful message and then we go out into the world and we spread that message. We don't, we don't just let it stop there. It doesn't just end at Christmas. This isn't just a, a, a holiday that we get together and celebrate with our families once a year, but it truly is an opportunity to listen to Jesus in our hearts and says, I have called you as shepherds. I have called you as shepherds to go out and give glory to God. To let others know how God has touched your heart. To let others know that there's a God that loves them. That they are shepherds too. You know, the, 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 I'm, I'm sure that there were probably many more shepherds that, that learned from those initial shepherds who showed up that day. That's our task. We go out after this and, and we, we kind of go out into our daily lives again and then we just ask the Lord, Lord, where, where can I be a better disciple? Where can I be a good shepherd? In my home, in my job, with my circle of friends, the, the people that I know, the people that I hang out with, the people in my neighborhood. Can I treat them kinder? Can I... Be a good shepherd to them. So we go out today, and, and if there's a little fragrance in the air, by the way, that's a little bit of frankincense that these three guys brought with them. A little bit of fra fragrance of frankincense that they brought to a good shepherd, to one who teaches us to go out and make good shepherds of others. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today is born our Savior. Let us pray that God's light shine over all. For the church celebrating throughout the world that the dawning of Christ's birth be a reminder of his abiding presence and an inspiration for service to humanity 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of all levels of society, that justice be tempered with mercy and a care for all God's children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Prince of Peace will bring peace to the world, to our nation, our communities, and our homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, that our love for one another will comfort those who find themselves far from home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, that their hearts might be filled with peace and hope in God's healing mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may share the Lord's victory over death and live forever in the peace of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those on our parish prayer list, for the intentions written in our book of prayers, and for those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of this Mass, Marilyn Lonzo and April Elkins Tar, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving, loving God, today you speak to us through your Son, Jesus. In his name we place before you these petitions and those in our hearts. Amen. For our offertory hymn, please join in singing number 81, 81, Silent Night. Just 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we look forward, O Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly, for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. of your glory. O Son, I am the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, I am the highest. O Son, I am the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that, they, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, Daniel, our retired Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you, Judge. Peace with you. And just a note for communion uh, this evening, for those of you who are in the balcony, there will be a Eucharistic minister who will be coming up to the balcony, so you won't have to come down the stairs this evening. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him 
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 Blessings of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ. Please join in singing our communion hymn, number 76, Away in the Manger.
Oh. 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may draw new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'd just like to uh, uh, acknowledge, you know, just all the, the wonderful people who really made today happen. Um, certainly our, our wonderful music, and I think this might be the first time ever we had a bagpipe uh, player for, for uh, Christmas Eve. That's pretty cool. I'd also like to acknowledge the, the, the team of people that, that really went into making our space so beautiful, uh, not only uh, for Christmas, but throughout Advent as well. Uh, in fact, right after our last Advent Mass uh, this morning, they got right in here and just started working right away to transform this uh, into Christmas for us. So thank you to those who put all that hard work in as well. And thanks to Santa for showing up on his busy night to come and pray before our Lord Jesus today as well. But most of all, I just want to wish every uh, one of you and your families a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year this year. Merry Christmas, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 86, Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart repent. Nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us our songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat.